Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss about the topic Universal Gravitational Law. So let's move into the topic without wasting the time. The idea of gravity was introduced by Sir Isaac Newton. He was the scientist who combined ideas to explain how the universe operates. Let's understand how Newton discovered the gravity. One day Newton was sitting in his garden under the apple tree. He discovered gravity when he saw a falling apple while thinking about the forces of nature. Newton realized that some force must be acting on falling objects like apples because otherwise they would not start moving from rest. Newton also realized that the moon would fly off away from Earth in a straight line tangent to its orbit if some force was not causing it to fall toward the Earth. The moon is only a projectile circling around the Earth under the attraction of gravity. Newton called this force gravity and determined that gravitational forces exist between all objects. Every object pulls on every other object with an invincible force called gravity. There is gravity between you and your toy car, but you won't notice it because it is so weak. You can, however, feel the pull between you and the Earth. That's because the force of gravity depends on mass of the object and the Earth has a lot of mass. As Earth's gravity is very large than you, you will be pulled towards the Earth but the Earth doesn't move as it has greater inertia due to its mass. Universal Law of Gravitation, it states that every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force, which is directly proportional to product of their masses, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Let A and B be the two objects having masses m1 and m2 which are separated by a distance of d from each other. Let F be the force of attraction between them. According to Universal Law of Gravitation, force is directly proportional to product of their masses, that is, F is proportional to product of m1 and m2. Force is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them, that is, F is inversely proportional to 1 by d squared. Combining the two relations, we get F is proportional to m1 into m2 by d squared so we get, F equals g into m1 m2 by d squared. Where g is called constant of proportionality, which is known as universal gravitational constant. Therefore g is equal to f into d squared by m1 into m2, the si unit of g is newton meter square per kilogram square, the cgs unit of g is dyne centimeter square per gram square, the value of g is g is equal to 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. Acceleration due to gravity, if capital M be the mass of the Earth and small m be the mass of an object on the Earth. Small r is the radius of the Earth, then the force of attraction is given by F is equal to g into capital M into small m by r squared let it be equation number 1, but according to Newton's second law, F equals m into a equals m into g let it be equation number 2, where g is acceleration due to gravity. From equation 1 and equation 2, we get, small m into small g is equal to capital G into capital M small m by r squared therefore, small g is equal to capital G into capital M by r squared where capital M is mass of earth that is equal to 6 into 10 power 24 kilograms, small r is radius of earth that is equal to 6.4 into 10 power 6 meters, capital G is 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 newton meter square per kilogram square, therefore, small g is equal to 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 into 6 into 10 power 24 by 6.4 into 10 power 6 whole square. By simplifying the above expression, we get, small g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Variation of g with height. Acceleration due to gravity decreases when we go up into altitudes, this is because g is inversely proportional to square of the distance, so as distance increases the acceleration due to gravity g decreases, as the depth increases the mass of the earth decreases. At the surface of the earth this value will be maximum because radius will be maximum. When radius becomes less, i.e. when depth increases, this value also decreases. 
Hence, acceleration due to gravity decreases with increase in depth, as we know radius of Earth at poles is minimum, so acceleration due to gravity will be maximum at poles because g is inversely proportional to radius, similarly the radius of Earth at equator is maximum, so acceleration due to gravity will be minimum at equator, acceleration due to the Earth's gravity is zero at the center of the Earth, because at that point the mass of the Earth is equally distributed in all directions, so pulling equally in all directions for a net zero pull. As the distance from the center decreases, the acceleration due to gravity also decreases. Let us consider an example related to variation of acceleration due to gravity. A man weighs 80 kilograms at the equator. How does the weight of the man change at the following places, a. At poles b. 100 kilometers up in space c. 10 kilometers down in a mine d. At the center of earth. Answers. a. Man has maximum weight. b weight of man decreases c weight of man decreases d weight of the man is zero thanks for watching this video